my goodness. Good morning, everybody. Hello, and welcome back to Zoo Crafting. And that was quite the little adventure yesterday. So our forest for the Asian forest exhibit, it's huge. I just got back from returning. I walked all the way to the edge over to the little river, and oh my goodness, we've got some space. There's plenty of space to add in lots of extra tigers, maybe some of the little dyke dyke deer. Oh my goodness, pandas, for sure. We're going to have the biggest panda exhibit ever. It's going to be amazing. Oh my gosh. But yes, I definitely gathered up a lot of stuff. I'm totally feeling excited and ready to start adding lots of animals into the zoo. Just think we could have another bamboo garden. That would be so exciting. <gasps> or where's, where's, oh, hey. Uh huh. we've got some mail. Nice. I was going to say Agent Noodles might finally be able to get his little noodle shop, but that's exciting. I think Ben mentioned that he might have dropped something in my mailbox. So we'll go down and check that out in just a second, because if it's more dinosaurs, we're definitely going to have to do dinosaurs this month. And I mean, if the fungi forest that we have for the dinosaurs is anywhere near as big as the fungi forest that we have for the Asian animals, my gosh, we are going to be very, very busy indeed. Oh my goodness, but I've got a lot of stuff I kind of need to put away too, like this salt. Oh my gosh. Well, let's go downstairs. I've got some coins to hand over to Mark. Martha, because I know that she, oh, okay, that's fine. The girls are just, I need to speak with them about leaving, you know, flaming torches down at the bottom of the stairs. That's not the best thing that you want to step on first thing in the morning. Oh, good morning, Bluebell. You're kind of in the chair right now. Do you need a little bit of help? All right, let me see if I can help her out with this. Are you hungry? Do you need more sugar? Oh, I have some good news. Okay, she, she, she could use more sugar. All right, one second, Bluebell. I have some good news. There's more sugar! Alright, whoops, oh, there she goes. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and I'm going to... Oh my goodness, it's so crowded already. There we go. Oh, I've got way too much stuff, way too much stuff. Alright, here you go, sweetie. There is half a stack of sugar that I have for you. I need to take the other half a stack to your sister. I wonder where Darling is. Oh, there you are! Ah, good morning, darling. I'm so excited to see you. All right. And Martha, meanwhile, is also having some... Everybody's having trouble with their chairs today. I'll have to help you out in a second, Martha. All right. Even Primrose is having trouble with her chair today. So that's very interesting. Primrose, if you're not going to finish, like, that caramel apple, I totally wouldn't mind finishing it for you. Just FYI. Whoops. Okay. I'm in the chair. All right. There we go. There you go, Primrose. All right. Let me go ahead give you the rest of the sugar. You've got a little bit more than your sister now. Um, they're leaving torches out again. Or someone, I think someone's been in my house. I think I've had a little maid. I think Ilya's been here now that I'm looking around. Because I know some of the blocks that she puts the little torches on are actually, like, they have light in them. She's just being a little overzealous. <laughs> but definitely very helpful. All right, let's put these away. And then we'll have to go see what Ben has left us. I need to add to my little salt blocks over here. And there we go. Kind of get a little, little pile of salt going on right there. Oh, oh my goodness, just getting started in the morning is kind of tricky. All right, pony problem. That was from Alex. Let's put this way. Oh, speaking of books too. Hey, Persephone. Persephone, do you happen to have that book uh, all finished? You know, the one the one that I needed you to look for that had to do with the Momiji and figuring... No, no, Persephone? Persephone? What? Wait, what? Over there? Over there? This is new. All right. Well, let me just grab this. The Momiji Handbook! All right. It says my name on it, but I did not write this, Persephone. Is it... Okay, you're not answering me? Okay, it's just because it happens to be from my library. All right, well, that's fine. Thank you! Oh, she's already cleaned up all the little books where she was, like, searching for the specific book, too. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you, Persephone. All right, so I guess... Can I take a peek? Oh! Written by Ben! <laughs> oh, that makes sense, because Ben's kind of the one who discovered the Momiji here on our, our world. So I'll go ahead and read that in just a second. Just want to check in on the puppies, make sure they're doing okay. All right, they've got some food. How's everything going on over here? Got some food still. Devin, you doing okay? You doing okay, you little chunky monkey? Are you sneaking? Oh, she must, she's been eating well lately. She's looking good. Putting on the weight. That makes me happy to see. She used to be a wild dog, and now she is adjusting to family life here. Here with everybody. Ash is hanging out with her lately, too. <laughs> so I guess she's adjusting pretty well to having all the puppies and having so many siblings all of a sudden. Oh, goodness. Oh, it's just so good to be here. All right, well, let's go ahead. Um, and put away some of this stuff really quickly, and then we'll check the mail. Don't judge me, Primrose, sweetie. I've just got a lot on, on my hands. Alright, let's go down here. And I'm just kind of going to shove everything, 
You know, no one has to see. Oh, yeah, the paper bark tree. That is so cool. We, we collected some of this paper bark. I'll have to see if I can nurture it later so that it... Ooh, and actually, I need to take these jungle saplings, these oak saplings. Um, oh, and I need to... Get, <gasps> Martha's going to be so excited. Martha's going to be so happy that I have some emerald coins to give her. So let me just put these away. I'm really excited that Bella actually managed to find this book. It has been a long time in coming. She has been searching our tiny little library for ages. Or not Bella, excuse me, Persephone, I'm sorry, Bella's your sister, I know. Alright, good, so Persephone has managed to find this book. Alright, let me see. And we'll read it in just a moment. Oh, I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting what I'm supposed to be doing. See, yeah, I'm 100% sure with the doors open and all these torches everywhere. I sense an Ilya, Martha. Alright, and Martha, I promised to help you out with your chair issue too, didn't I? Let me fix this. That didn't, Martha, that didn't fix it. No, Martha, no, 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 I don't want the dodo. I don't, Martha, no, please. Martha, hurry before they start popping into your chair. I remember the chaos of last time. Quickly, Martha. No, Martha, not me. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you, Martha. Thank you. I was so worried for a second. Martha, look, you're going to be so happy with me. I have some emerald coins. Please. Use these well in our accounting. We desperately need to make the money stretch. I know, I know, that means I need to stop buying money over at the Relic, or buying money. Well, if I could buy money, that would be awesome. I need to stop spending money over at the Relic Ruins market, buying all of those flowers, but I just, I can't help it. I know I have a lot of flowers out there, but they're not as pretty as the Wisteria flowers, Martha. All right, let's put these away real quickly. Hopefully she'll be able to work with those. Jeez, it feels so good to finally be, like, tucking some of the stuff that I've collected away for a little while. Alright, so let's go see what kind of dinosaur Ben has left us this time that we were going to have to find a home for. But that's okay, because it's part of the very exciting excitement of running our zoo. So, good morning, Jude! I hope that we had, um, you know, our discussion last time that we had about accepting certain live animals from certain bins that happened to wander by. I hope that went over pretty well. Um... I hope it's not a dolphin again. Do I still have that dolphin in my pocket? Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure... Where did the dolphin go? How do you lose a dolphin? Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, how did I lose a dolphin? Oh my goodness. Oh good, and there's more sugar cane for the girls. Okay, I do still have the dolphin in my pocket, so I need to be ready with a whole bunch of these uh, reusable safari nuts. Alright. Alright, let's see what kind of animal this is. Wait, what? <gasps> it's a princess, Clam! What? <laughs> what mythical little thing has he found me? An emerald? An essence berries? This is like the prettiest little set of gifts I've ever had! What the heck a doodle is a princess clam, though? Like, what, what do I do with it? Hello, lovely. Oh my gosh, you can turn it into, like, charms? Raiden charm, the flower charm, increases loot mob drops. What? Raid and charm of the butterfly charm increases experience mob drops. Oh my gosh. Nothing was for the wind charm. Warp on the ground with the raid and charm moon charm. What is this? And you use obsidian and you can make an incense base with this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I kind of want to put her like, can I, oh hello princess clam. Can I put you on the ground or anything? No. Oh my gosh. It's like a super duper, this is one of the rarest clams that you could possibly find. I, I know that sounds kind of weird, but it is a super duper rare clam. Oh, I'm so excited we have our super rare clam. That is so nice of him to give that to us. Well, that's fantastic. And on top of that, we actually have the, Mo does the Momiji handbook, I wonder, tell us how to actually take care of the Momiji. You know, we should go downstairs. Let's go downstairs and get the Momiji. Darling! Darling, we have a princess clam! It's so exciting! We need a little aquarium that we can put it in. I would be so happy if we had a little aquarium I could put it in. Alright. Ooh, maybe I could get it out and, like, put it down inside my big tank. That would be really fun, actually. If I could, like, put my princess clam, and instead of turning her into a charm, if I could give her, like, a home at the bottom of my tank down there somehow. I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to do that. Captain Kaz, Major Calhoun, security going okay here? One day soon. Cap Captain Kaz, Captain Kaz, you're hitting the cat grass kind of hard there. Whoop. Was that a zombino? No zombies allowed! Hmm. Hmm, that tree is pretty dark. I might bring the moonworm queen out after so long and shoot some of her babies onto that tree. All right, let me see. Uh, let's actually go downstairs. Because speaking of the Momiji, 
All right, pigment fern, hello. Still need to get you pants. I really just need to grab some leaves and just make them some quick pants out of some leaves even. Mm. All right, so the momiji, are they down here? Here they are. All right, one momiji, two momiji, three momiji. All right, I better tell Professor Cowplant. Mm. Professor Cowplant the third, hello. I have more animals for the cryogenics lab. I hope you don't mind. Um, also has that, oh, oh, microchip. What you doing out here? Come here, little buddy. You need to stay over here with Iverson, who's busy working. I don't want to interrupt him. Oh, microchip. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, Iverson, don't, oh, oh, there he is. Oh, jeez. Jeez, microchip. Okay. Oh, no, I did nothing. Okay, good. Don't want to interrupt Iverson. He gets really cranky if you interrupt his research sometimes. Look at his little pet snail. Oh, I love how he climbs up on the little table and it just sits there among his experiments. That's so cool. All right, so weird-looking creeper statue. Also a gift from Ben. Has not done anything like summoning creepers. It just looks freaking amazing. I love it. I love it. It's really good next to our treasure room. I guess I could put the clam in the treasure room for a little bit. So, and what's this? Alabaster lamps, essence berry bushes, emeralds. What fun gifts. We really, ooh, what the heck a doodle? Look at this stuff. These are pretty. <gasps> Whoop, okay. Oh jeez, that startled me. No experiment 404, don't eat it. <laughs> oh my goodness, so these alabaster lamps are really cool too. Nice. All right, so we have the little momiji. Um, oh, and that's right. Professor Calpot the third. Sorry about that. I have new additions f to the laboratory. I probably, you know what? I should bring you a clipboard down mm. here. That actually would be very useful to have a clipboard. So we knew who was still like in here, including, whew. all right, including the body of my son, Junior, who I need to revive. Oh my goodness. I really need to bring him back. Half of him is back. Half of his spirit is back, but the other half is still here. Goodness gracious. Mm. And then we've also got uh, quite a few village babies. We've got, um, I believe these are actually all zombie babies for the zombie baby daycare that still needs to be constructed. We have a rocket creeper, which needs to be studied and perhaps put into a mob uh, exhibit. I really want to start making some mm. mob exhibits for the zoo in the future too. We've got werewolves, which I hope to take safely to a werewolf village where we can work on helping them uh, maybe be cured from their werewolfism or at least be able to not be in pain or whatever is antagonizing them to make them aggressive. I would like to resolve that. And then we have some zombies right here that I'm pretty sure these are villager zombies that we need to cure. So that is going to probably be a side quest pretty soon because I need to tend to that. Um, all right, but Professor Cowplant, let me show you the new animals that I have for the stasis chamber for now. Um, there's an owl. I'm gonna go actually put this owl egg in with the dinosaur egg so it's safe in the incubator. And we've got a bear. I don't remember what kind, I'm sorry. A wild deer. We have a big cat of unknown variety, a dolphin, and another big cat. And I know that's a lot of, a lot of things to add on top of the woodpeckers and crabs and parrots and, you know, we could release these parrots into the, um, we could release these parrots into... The big aviary. Oh, we should do that next time. We've also got cassowaries, kiwi, a little kiwi bird. Why not? We should put the kiwi bird in the aviary sometime soon because it would be fine in there. We have a couple mice, which I want to actually use as lab mice, um, like to do harmless things like run mazes. Don't worry. We've got a whole bunch of birds. I think these are all bluebirds, actually, for the bluebird, uh, kind of like the woodpecker and bluebird temperate forest aviary I want to work on. We've got unknown big cats. We can have you guys join the big cats. We have the sand kitties that we actually need to work on. We have a bear. Uh, we have another bear. I'm assuming maybe they're panda. One of them might be a panda. Don't know. All right, we've got a dolphin. I'll put it over with the crabs. We have these little ones, the Jurassic Craft uh, hyphos, or hypey. I'm just going to call them hypesies that we need to find a home for. Uh, a road runner as well. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's put the owl just kind of over here with the uh, the crab, or the crabs. The, I meant the woodpeckers. There we go. With the woodpeckers. And finally, a wild deer. There we go. Of different type. It's actually more going to be like an Asian deer. Not going to be like the deer that we have in our white-tailed deer exhibit. Phew. All right. Professor Cowplant, those are the additions to the stasis chamber. And then I'm actually going to come over here. And let's finally find out what the heck these momiji are and what they do. So I'm just going to take one of them out. Hello. 
the cute, weird alien thing. Are you going to the alien plant? That tells me a lot. If you zoom straight over to the little alien plant. Lab chicken, you are more than welcome to study this little oddity of nature. Uh, let's see. I guess it wouldn't hurt to get the others out. Oh, there's two green-haired ones. <gasps> Look, she went straight for the alien plant. To me, this indicates what she is. She's an alien! That's what it is. All right. Hi, sweetie. All right. So they can't really escape and they can't really get hurt. So I don't mind letting them. Oh, and there's a little red-headed one. Hi, sweetheart. I don't really mind letting them kind of roam around for a minute. They're they're really kind of cute. Maybe I'll keep them as lab assistants if even if all they do is just kind of roam around. I'm sure they'll invigorate the imaginations of the uh, lab chickens for sure. All right. Well, let's go ahead and read this really quickly. Oh, goodness, it's actually quite large, but that's okay, because this is actually written by Ben, and it was in my laboratory, or in my library, but I'm not really surprised about that. Let's see, so 4, 6, 15. Mm, whilst exploring the wilderness of this new world, I have stumbled across something quite strange. A group of small, human-like creatures riding primitive, hum yeah, primitive hovering machines, that sounds like Ben, hovering vehicles made of what... Would appear to be a crude mix of wood, iron, and stone. These creatures' appearance is humanoid, with proportions matching those of our own species perfectly, until we reach their heads. While similar to those of our own species in terms of shape and proportion, they appear to be far too large for their bodies, suggesting that whatever makes up their necks is extremely strong. Well, I'm not gonna deny it. Where'd they go? I feel like I'm babysitting. Hello, little one. All right. Well, you just stay where I can keep an eye on you, okay? You like fruit? Maybe I'll try feeding you some fruit soon. But, all right. All right. So, it looks like he did some observations of them. Well, you know what? I like reading these kinds of things because I am a scientist. And this is exciting. This is someone else's field observations. Oh, that's so cool. All right. So... After extended observation, I have noted that these are naturally curious creatures, and after hearing of aliens and tiny spaceships from Siri, I am quite sure that they are widespread across the world. Something worth noting is that both the group I am observing, and in the wild, and in the group this, that Siri came across, in either hilly area or plains, but, both, uh, but in both instances, they were quite near Japanese maple trees. Oh, that's true! I wonder if I need to get a Japanese maple tree planted for them, so they'd be nice and healthy. I theorize that the trees hold some sort of value to them, most likely as a source of food or as a lure for prey items, should they turn out to be carnivorous. Oh my goodness, that does sound like Ben. Prey items. Look at that little face. Look at it. I don't see that. I don't think that little face is carnivorous. No, no. I think it needs, maybe it's like a little maid. Maybe I need to feed it sugar. After several months of observation, I have been able to find a staple of the diet of these creatures, momiji manju. Oh, you see? A cake in the shape of a maple leaf filled with anko. Though the acquisition of this is incredibly difficult, I have... Uh, despite this, I have managed to procure, procure four of them, enough to feed the entire group. Tomorrow, I will set out again to see how they respond to a human directly feeding them. All right, and then a little bit later, they accepted the food quickly and eagerly, setting their crafts down and consuming the cakes quite happily. However, after this, they seemed to be awaiting something, so I gave the red-headed one, oh, he had a red-headed one too, uh, whom I had since dubbed Lilith, a feather that I so happened to have on my person. I was unsure what this did, but she reactivated her vehicle and hovered in front of me as if waiting for instructions. So, hang on, let's see. Food and then feathers, okay. Do you want food and feathers? Do you want cake? I think we, oh, Ben actually gave me some of the little mom, mom, momiji cake. Oh, we'll have to feed it to them. I need a feather. I wonder if I'll have a chicken, like, feather just laying around. I'll have to find out. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's see. In mild confusion, I decided to pack the four into safari nets and take them home for further study. In the lab, I noted that while that Lilith disappeared while the others stayed put, I found her in the spot I initially gave her the feather. On a whim, I gave her a second feather, causing her to sit back down and her to land and her vehicle to land. Okay, they're so cute. I took note of an inventory that she had, with three slots in her main profile area. One for shears, one for a hoe, and the last for an axe. I provided these three tools, then put her back in a net and unleashed her in my farm. Upon releasing her, I gave her a feather and she immediately began harvesting crops. What? Do you have a little farmer? From all the places she could reach within a 22 meter radius. She even replanted crops and put spares in chests where available. What? You guys farm? 
Instructions! Find Momijis, acquire Momiji Manju, feed Momiji a Momiji Manju by right-clicking on the Momiji, open the Momiji's inventory and give her a shears, a hoe, and an axe. Put your Momiji in the center of your farm with a vanilla chest uh, placed in a 22 block radius for her to access. Give your Momiji a feather! If she still sits, simply shift right click her to have her stand. Enjoy your new little helper. What? <laughs> That's adorable! Oh my goodness, that is so cool! So his field notes, that was fine! Alright, come here little one. Okay, so we need Momiji Manju cake and feathers. Oh dear, where have they gone? I, I, you know, there's the lab. I actually built it like this to be a pun on Labyrinth. You get it? Lab, Labyrinth. Except, oh, I hope they're not bothering Iverson. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, Iverson. I'm collecting them. You know how it is in the lab, huh? <laughs> Just a, another busy day. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Bella. Bella, I'm so sorry, but that's really kind of adorably cute, too. She's like, excuse you? Really? She's like, collect your child. I'm sorry, Bella. I'm so sorry. Very nice to see you again. Very nice to see you. What do I, what do I need to get for you? Oh, yeah, the purified water, some aloe vera, chemical... De I'm sorry. I, I will work on that. Chemical decomposer would fit right there. You're right. Oops. Okay. All right. Thank you, Bella. You got to respect their privacy. They're very finickety scientists. Well, all right. So, you know what? I think that's perfect timing because I have been wanting... Whoops. Come on, fence. Wait. There you go. That's perfect timing because I have been wanting to replant my garden out front and now we finally have the instructions on how to do it and I just have to figure out where the heck I put the cake. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, so you know what? I think tomorrow for our big specimen Saturday or specimen Saturday, excuse me, our big Saturday special, um, what we're going to do is we'll replant the garden and I think I'm going to put a maple tree in here because I just feel like if they're maple tree creatures, they need a big maple tree in here. And then I think we might go on Sunflower and we might go out and collect the other maple trees. Because we have, oh and I almost forgot about my little princess clam. <gasps> so many presents, oh this is so exciting. But yeah, I think if we have the red maple tree, I really wanna try to get the yellow and the orange and the lime maple tree as well. And I know there's a whole little maple tree forest somewhere in that direction that we found. So I would love to fly on Sunflower, maybe come across some new animals, gather up the maple trees, and then we'll have them so that we can have the maple tree forest for our woodpeckers. And speaking of maple tree forest, I also wanna make more of those kinds of maple trees that actually give you the maple sugar sugar, the maple syrup that you can have for like your waffles and everything down in the woodpecker forest too. So, ah, oh, so many things to do. So many things to do already. I love it. And my wisteria to take care of. Jeez, I love it. So many things to do in the zoo. All right. Well, I'm going to go find where I left that cake and I will see you guys bright and early in the morning tomorrow because we have a lot to do and it's just going to be awesome. And I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.